Did you know that the size and weight of parts like pistons or manifolds can change how fast your car? Are you curious? Let's break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of how to compare cars based on their technical specs. And if you're thinking about tuning your own car, you'll know exactly what impact any change might have. So stick around till the end. As we all know, there are several factors that influence a vehicle's acceleration and power. We're familiar with things like weight, aerodynamics, engine power, and the drivetrain. But here, we're going to dive deeper into the technical aspects of the engine itself, exploring factors that not many people talk about. Let's get into it. The key factors in engine design that impact performance are output power, torque, durability and wear, fuel consumption, weight, and size. All these factors are optimized through engineering, and we're going to break down exactly how each one affects torque and engine power. Torque and horsepower. Torque, or twisting force, is usually measured in newton meters or pound feet. It's the rotational force produced by the engine, like the force applied with a wrench. If the force remains constant, increasing the length of the wrench increases the torque. In engines, torque plays a major role during initial acceleration and through mid-range RPMs. It's the force that pushes you back in your seat during acceleration or causes wheel spin and tire smoke. Power, on the other hand, is typically measured in horsepower or watts. In simple terms, power is the rate at which work is done. By definition, one horsepower equals 745.7 watts. Power is what helps your car pick up speed from mid-range to higher RPMs, meaning how fast the engine can help your car accelerate as it revs higher. Torque and horsepower are related and are calculated by this formula. If you're using newton meters, the formula will be different. If you look at the torque and power curves of internal combustion engines, you'll notice that the torque peaks at a specific RPM. This is where maximum acceleration happens, assuming there's enough grip and the vehicle's weight remains steady. But as the RPM increases, torque starts to drop due to lower combustion efficiency inside the cylinder and the increased mechanical resistance and friction of the engine parts. However, due to higher RPM, horsepower continues to rise for a bit longer. It's important to note that more torque doesn't always mean more horsepower. For example, heavy vehicles generate a lot of torque but don't necessarily have high horsepower. They don't need high speed but require significant pulling power to move heavy loads. This is why diesel engines are used in trucks, buses, and heavy machinery. They generate high torque at lower RPMs, perfect for heavy lifting. For cars, the best acceleration happens when shifting gears keeps the RPM between peak torque and peak horsepower. Engine materials. Engines are usually made from cast iron or aluminum. Cast iron is stronger and can handle more pressure, but because it's heavier, it negatively affects acceleration, fuel consumption, and overall efficiency. It's cheaper to produce cast iron engine blocks, but it reduces the power to weight ratio. On the other hand, aluminum is lighter and cools more easily, making it more fuel efficient and ideal for high performance engines. However, it's less durable compared to cast iron. Number of cylinders. Engines with fewer cylinders, like three or four, tend to have more vibration because there's more time between combustion cycles, but they produce more torque at lower RPMs. These engines typically have lower horsepower at high RPMs, use less fuel, take up less space, and are lighter. In contrast, engines with more cylinders, like six, eight, or more, have smoother operation because of continuous combustion. They also have better balance and can reach higher RPMs, producing more torque at higher RPMs and, as a result, higher horsepower. Of course, more cylinders mean higher fuel consumption, more maintenance costs, and more complex design. Plus, they're heavier and take up more space. Now, let's zoom into the engine and talk about one of its most crucial components. Piston bore, stroke, and weight. Changing the size or weight of pistons doesn't just affect power. It changes how your engine works at different speeds. The bore of a piston refers to the diameter of the cylinder, while the stroke is the distance the piston travels between its top and bottom positions. 
Naturally, increasing either the bore or the stroke increases engine displacement, which allows more air and fuel to enter, boosting torque. If you increase the piston bore while keeping the total volume of the cylinder constant, this typically means you'd also shorten the stroke. In this case, the engine produces less torque at low RPMs, but more horsepower at higher RPMs. Additionally, this setup reduces engine wear and improves durability. Conversely, if you decrease the piston bore and increase the stroke while keeping the total volume constant, the engine will generate more torque at low RPMs but will be limited at higher RPMs due to the longer stroke. This can lead to more friction and wear because of the increased piston travel inside the cylinder. Additionally, larger pistons have more surface area, which means they hit the crankshaft harder during combustion, resulting in more torque. However, heavier pistons also increase inertia and friction against the cylinder walls, which can reduce overall engine efficiency and increase wear. So, making changes to piston bore and stroke requires careful consideration to maintain a good balance between torque, horsepower, and engine longevity. Connecting rod length. The length of the connecting rod plays a big role in engine performance. A shorter rod increases the angle relative to the crankshaft, creating more pressure and friction against the cylinder walls. This leads to higher wear and fuel consumption but provides more torque at lower RPMs. In contrast, a longer connecting rod with a shorter piston stroke improves engine performance by reducing friction, extending combustion duration, and lowering fuel consumption. While this setup reduces low-end torque, it improves high RPM performance. Crankshaft. The crankshaft is another key component, and factors like its length, radius, diameter, and weight can significantly impact performance. A shorter crankshaft, typically found in inline three or four cylinder engines, or V-shaped or boxer engines, reduces vibration and increases efficiency. A longer crankshaft, however, is more prone to bending forces and requires vibration control measures. The crankshaft radius, the distance from its centerline to the connecting rod, directly affects torque and power. Increasing the radius boosts torque, but it can also increase wear on the cylinder walls and reduce engine lifespan. Crankshaft weight also matters. A heavier crankshaft adds inertia, which helps maintain rotational speed at low RPMs, but it also resists changes in RPM, making the engine less responsive. Similarly, increasing crankshaft diameter adds strength and durability, but can negatively impact overall performance due to added weight. Valves. The number of valves per cylinder affects engine power and torque. Older engines with one intake valve and one exhaust valve often produced good low-end torque, but struggled at higher RPMs due to poor airflow. Modern engines typically have four valves per cylinder, two intake and two exhaust, which improves airflow and increases horsepower at higher RPMs. However, they produce less torque at lower RPMs compared to engines with fewer valves. Some advanced engines even have five or more valves per cylinder, which increases complexity and cost but also improves efficiency. These are mostly found in high-performance vehicles or supercars. Manifolds. Another factor to consider is the intake and exhaust manifolds. If the intake manifold diameter is too large, it helps the engine breathe better at higher RPMs and improves overall efficiency. However, at lower RPMs, it reduces the speed of the incoming air, which lowers torque. The length of the manifold also plays a role. A longer intake manifold increases torque at low RPMs but decreases power at higher RPMs. On the other hand, a shorter intake manifold helps the engine breathe better at high RPMs, resulting in more horsepower, but lowers torque at low RPMs. For the exhaust manifold, a larger diameter makes it easier for exhaust gases to escape, improving breathing and power at higher RPMs. But at lower RPMs, it may create pressure drops, affecting engine breathing, Similarly, a longer exhaust manifold boosts torque at lower RPMs, but limits power at higher RPMs. A shorter one does the opposite. It decreases torque at low RPMs, but increases power at high RPMs. 
And when it comes to the material used in manifolds, there's a big difference between cast iron, aluminum, and steel. I'll leave this as a question for you to answer in the comments. What are the pros and cons of each material? Superchargers and turbochargers. Both systems are fantastic, and if an engine doesn't have one, it's known as naturally aspirated. These systems work by compressing the air going into the engine, allowing for more powerful combustion inside the cylinders. As a result, the engine can produce much more torque and power. The difference between them? Well, let's keep it short since this isn't the main topic of the video. A turbocharger gets its power from a turbine connected to the exhaust manifold, using energy from the exhaust gases to spin and compress the air. Meanwhile, a supercharger is powered by a belt or chain connected to the crankshaft, meaning it uses the engine's mechanical energy. While a supercharger uses some of the engine's power, it compensates by producing even more power. Both systems come in various types and have their pros and cons, but generally speaking, both help boost the engine's performance. Engine Performance Management System Another key component that affects torque and engine power is the ignition system. The more accurately the spark plugs fire inside the cylinders, the more efficiently the fuel's chemical energy is converted into mechanical energy, increasing the engine's efficiency. Key factors in the ignition system include spark plug placement. Ideally, the spark plug should be positioned in the center of the combustion chamber to ensure even combustion. Spark plug material, High quality spark plugs that can handle high temperatures and RPMs are essential for producing a strong and consistent spark. Spark plug wires and coils. High quality wires and strong coils are needed to deliver sufficient voltage for proper ignition. Additionally, the precise programming of the ECU to control ignition timing, along with CVVD systems, continuously variable valve timing that adjust the opening and closing of valves depending on RPMs can improve low-end torque and increase high-end horsepower. This optimization in spark timing and valve performance is something that's commonly tweaked during car tuning or remapping. Engine thermodynamics. One of the final things to consider is the thermodynamics of the engine. Each engine is designed to perform best at a specific operating temperature. While higher temperatures can improve thermodynamic efficiency, the cooling and heat management systems must be up to the task to prevent unnecessary wear and fuel consumption. Will diameter. The last factor we'll touch on is will diameter, which also affects torque and power. Changing the wheel size doesn't just impact the look of your car, it also affects its dynamics. A larger wheel diameter improves stability and handling, but it reduces torque, which can lower initial acceleration. However, because the wheel's circumference increases, it can actually boost your car's top speed. Keep in mind that changing the wheel size can mess with your car's radar, safety sensors, and speedometer readings. Also, Remember that wheel diameter has no effect on the engine's horsepower. So, if you're thinking of changing your wheels, do it with caution to maintain the balance between performance and safety. Now that you know how various engine components and factors affect your car's performance, you'll be better equipped to compare engine specs or predict how a modification might change your car's behavior. If I missed anything or if you've had your own experiences, feel free to share them in the comments. See you in the next video.